Sorry about that. When I saw the uniform, I thought you were another zombie. Who are you? Ada Wong. And what are you doing here? I'm looking for some guy named Ben. He's one of those reporter types, always looking for a scoop. I heard he was locked up in the cell block, only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you?
Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? Get up! Now! What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. Is this the guy? Ben? You told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. What was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're going to have to leave with me. But, do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. All right, I'm going. I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. It's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check.
How cute. That little girl must have dropped this. I think I'll hold on to it for her. Ah! <gasps> 
Leon, can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. What? Ada, wait! <laughs>
Running off like that was reckless and stupid. Those zombies are everywhere, not to mention that thing that got Ben. I was there, Leon, I know. Look, Ada, as an officer, it's my job to look out for you. But we're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together, okay? All right, we'll do this your way, for now.
Don't move. You're the one who's with that cop, if I'm not mistaken. Identify yourself. <gasps> Ada? Ada Wong? <gasps> Ada Wong? I've heard that name. <gasps> now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. <gasps> Ada and John, I believe. How did you know? <gasps> who are you? Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. William Birkin. What? John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this, you will be joining him shortly. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus away from me. G-Virus? It's capable of creating the ultimate bioweapon. Its potential is even greater than then that must mean the creature in the police department is... Precisely... My husband, William. And it's all Umbrella's fault. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. So those rats were the carriers of the virus. As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. Even worse, every G-Virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other creatures. And create offspring. No.
Leon. This bullet wound isn't making things any easier. Quiet, Leon. I'll patch you up. That's two I owe you. Don't mention it. I just found out. John's dead. What? Never mind. Let's just get out of here. The sooner the better.
Be something hidden here.
Welcome back. Uh. Hey, take it easy. We're inside Umbrella's secret lab. I'll go find something to treat that wound, so just rest here in the meantime. But... I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Go. Save yourself. Is it just me, or does everybody always ignore what I say? I told you, it's my job to look after you. But... you'll be in danger if you stay with me. I know I've only known you for a short period of time, but I really enjoy being with you. I... I know... I'm not capable of caring about anyone, but... I don't want to lose you. We're leaving this place together. Wait here for me. I'll be right back. Ugh! <laughs> 
she go?
detonation.
Claire should be back soon. Wrong. I don't know. The door won't open. 